referred to as the cruelest place on earth by National Geographic, the Danakil Desert offers the harsh yet breathtaking backdrop to the final destination on my safari to collect the rare species only available on a limited quota in Ethiopia. The main species I will be after in the Danakil Desert will be the Besa oryx, fast becoming one of the rarest animals to get in all of Africa. Having taken many species over the years that are not currently huntable, I look forward to some good fortune in getting a Besa oryx on the safari. The landscape, which is quite barren yet dry, happens to be one of the hottest places on earth. Despite this fact, it still holds multiple species and a select few have huntable populations. The Ethiopian government has maintained one of the very best game management programs in all of Africa and has given sports hunters, such as myself, the ability to collect animals not available anywhere else in the world. In addition to the Besa oryx, we will be looking for the Summering's gazelle, a species thriving in the desert, and the Salt's dictic, a small antelope species endemic to the desert. The Danakil will be my final destination in what has been an epic three-week expedition all over Ethiopia in pursuit of some amazing animals. Sise and his team has done a tremendous job of organizing and guiding me in three incredible yet very challenging locations all over the country. However, we have saved the very best for last and with great excitement, I look forward to entering the Danakil Desert and experiencing the highs and the lows of hunting in the cruelest place on earth. Giant forest dog, but we got a huge salt stick dick. Unbelievable. Hold up. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Unbelievable. Well, that couldn't have worked out any smoother. We literally drove out less than two minutes out of camp, and a salt stick dick ran across the road. Uh, we put a very limited stock, and he gave us a, a nice uh, standing shot. We've just taken the exceptional salt dick dick. Three inches is quite big and he's uh, over three and a quarter. So, very happy to get the uh, party started in the Danakil with an excellent trophy.
gazelle. Diamond of Africa with this animal. We are in the Danakil Desert. It's about 6.30 in the morning, our first morning out for Beza Oryx, one of the key species of this hunt. Uh, it is uh, extremely dry, um, incredible terrain. Looking forward to getting the hunt started. Uh, we have some overcast skies. Hopefully that keeps the Oryx out a little bit longer this morning. Looking forward to getting the party started. Believe it or not, we just spotted a lone oryx and we have to make a very long stop in the desert. We'll hopefully catch up to it. We're in the game. We saw a sea and oryx. Let's get after it. I am in the middle of the Danakil Desert. It's about 8.30 in the morning. You know, the ebbs and flows of a safari. I have the privilege of sitting behind a Beza Oryx, one of the rarest species to collect in all of Africa, not just Ethiopia. Um, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn and saying that in the next two to three years, uh, this will be a species not huntable to a sportsman moving forward. Very limited quantity. Uh, the area they're in continues to shrink and it's a great honor and privilege to have been here to do the hunt. Not only did we take uh, a good representative, we took an exceptional trophy. Uh, this was a, by all standards, with this 
accomplishment, a very successful safari. Having the great privilege of hunting all over the globe, I have experienced some truly unique and amazing places in pursuit of my passion, but none more awe-inspiring than the vast Danakil Desert of Ethiopia. Getting to the desert, which is a experience in itself, prepares you for the adventure ahead. With the oppressive heat of the desert, Early mornings and late evenings are important windows for the hunt. We got out the first evening and encountered a trophy salt stick dick less than a mile from our camp. With a quick stalk, we collected a tremendous animal and the next morning we entered into the heart of the hunting block in pursuit of the summering's gazelle. While there were many gazelles, a big trophy ram was elusive. While on the stock for a good ram, a true giant emerged from one of the many canyons, and we had another one of the endemic species of the desert in the salt. The hunting gods were with me when later on in the hunt, we spotted a lone Besa Oryx bull several miles away. After an epic stalk, we were able to connect on the most important animal of the safari. The magic of the Danakil Desert and its animals is impossible to describe in words, so I'm very grateful to Sean and Cissé for making my dream of documenting this stunning terrain on film a reality. For me, the greatest part of hunting around the globe is the ability to experience different places and cultures as well as the privilege to meet some truly incredible people. To that standard, this trip to the Danakil Desert of Ethiopia was one of the most extraordinary undertakings I have ever had the good fortune to be a part of.